As Charlie gave you Wednesday's video, that would work very well. Uh, do moving average crossovers work? Well, um, I would argue no. Um, moving average crossovers, using moving average crossovers doesn't, to me, work. You can take a data set and you can argue the case for moving average crossovers to work um, based on various, you know, maybe longer term moving averages. But to the average retail trader, moving averages won't really work for them because, firstly, um, when a moving average cross, when they cross over, a lot of the time, um, price is already, let's say, take this situation down here. By the time they've actually crossed, you're already getting in way up here. So you're often getting in quite late when you get a moving average crossover. Um, now, there are certain filters that you can do and use to try to counteract that. But what I'm saying, in its raw form, in a basic form, I've got two moving averages on here, a typical 8 and 21 period moving average. And um, in their raw form, you won't find that they'll work. There'll be periods where they work, because even here you can argue, well, look, even if you'd have bought in up here, it went higher, higher, higher. And then if you have some sort of exit, depending on what your exit strategy is, if you waited for the moving averages to cross back down, then again, by the time they cross, yes, even in this situation, because it's had a nice trend, you would have made some money. But And when the markets do trend, then you could certainly create an argument because when they've crossed back up again here by the time they've crossed you'd be getting in right up here but again even by the time they've crossed back down um, in this situation you would have still made money so there will be times when moving average crossovers especially if you have a different type of exit signal as well will work um, when a market's having a good trend and certainly you can use different filters I've just used 8 and 21 you could be using all sorts of different um, uh, moving averages but like I keep saying, uh, for retail traders, in the main, they won't do because what will happen is as soon as a market starts going into any form of consolidation phase like here, then you won't find that you will be able to make any money because by the time you get in down here um, and then by the time it crosses back up, um, you're getting stopped out back up here. And by the time you get in back over here on the long side, uh, by the time they've crossed somewhere over here, and then by the time they cross back down again, you're not making any money. And then off it goes again. So then, way, you've had a lovely trend all the way up here. So provided you manage to put up with the losses all through here, then you've made some money. But the main point that I'm making is that when markets go through consolidation phases like here, then you just end up, retail traders will get um, chopped up. Now, a machine, which doesn't have any emotions, may be able to put up with that. And there are lots of algorithmic programs out there which do use fun enough moving average crossovers but algos and machines can put up with lots of losses provided that they can um, eke out and when they get into the big trends they will be able to make money and net overall be able to make money but the average retail trader won't be able to put up with the chop that happens in the meantime chop 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 yes lovely trend but then um, so nice gains there and a bit of chop here um, a bit of chop through here and so in the main if I go back <laughs> chop 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 so when a market stops trending and you can't predict bear in mind you can't predict when the next trends going to start you can use all sorts of tools using things like ADXs and stuff but it, again it's hit and miss so hindsight's a wonderful thing that you can say all sorts about when a market's trending and when it's not but when you're in the thick of things you don't know when a market's about to start trending again so you're going to need to follow the system um, which on the moving average crossover if it's in a choppy sideways market you don't know when that's about to stop and so you can't not take that trend that signal because you don't know if this point here is going to be the start of a huge trend to the downside so in the main moving average crossovers um, I would say for retail traders do not work there are ways that you can manipulate that information to be useful information for you so um, in a different way but literally buying or selling based on two moving averages crossing I would say for retail traders is not a good idea but there are other things that you can do. You can use them as confirmations, for example. Um, so once you've had a, com um, a cross in one direction, and that might come with other um, trend-based signals, then 
of course they can be very useful information but purely mechanically uh, using them in that way I would say do not bother because moving average crossovers um, unless you're a system then the average retail trader when it gets through a choppy phase will not be able to handle having lots of um, chopped up trades and, and losses so um, there you go that's my Wednesday video hope you're very well see you Friday for live trading this week